Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Tuesday the 18th, and today was a gorgeous, lovely day outside, um, rained off and on quite a bit, but it was nice and cool, it was in the 70s, it was a gorgeous temperature, um, big, big fan of the lower temps, um, woke up this morning super, super early, um, decided to start a new little, um, I don't know, new little page in my life, any little chapter maybe you want to call it, and get up and do my runs in the morning. Um, just, I don't know, I slept like a baby. Um, I was amazing how well I slept. I slept, haven't slept this soundly in quite some time. I woke up, um, felt refreshed, felt like I was had a purpose. Got up, went out, did my run, got my nice little run in. It was amazing the different people you see in the mornings that you don't see in the afternoons or the evenings and nights like I normally run. So it was definitely kind of cool there. Um, talked to a couple of different people. Um, just nice to kind of bump into people like that. It's really kind of an interesting thing. From there, um, got back home, went out in the shop, had a bunch of stuff to get done. Ended up creating a cuff, uh, few custom signs for some projects that I've been kind of putting off. Um, I've got time for them still, but I was looking for the exact perfect piece of wood and that and exactly what I wanted to put in the signs and stuff and went ahead and said to heck with it. Um, finally found a piece that fit um, the project I think very very well. Um, got them all prepped up, got them made, um, got them painted. Um, the paint is so it's so humid it's been raining like I said off and all day. The um, It's just been horrendous on that but went ahead and got them painted up. Hopefully it'll be dry tomorrow morning. I can go out there and finish um, scraping them down, sanding them down, and then get a few coats of like polyurethane on there. Uh, I was thinking about not doing the polyurethane so that it would be able to age a little bit better and there'd be less likely to have to re refinishing it because if you don't finish it at all, there's no need to ever refinish it. thought about just like tongue oil on it, um, but I don't know where they're putting it. I need to probably ask that question if they're putting it outside and leave it out there all the time or if it's going to be... Um, taken in and only taken out like on special events and stuff so if it's going to be left outside i think the one i've made already i'm going to try and convince them to take in and out with their um supplies and stuff like that when they actually have their events and then i'll make them something um out of like some redwood or something a much more substantial to actually place down there outside and leave it out there permanently so and we'll see what happens um, maybe that'll be next year's project i mean i'll do like a nice project once a year for them because that'd be kind of interesting to do but um, went ahead, um, got that all wrapped up, had a bunch of other things to do. The other thing I did realize that uh, while I was gone on my trip, um, I'd left the windows down on my new van. Um, Aaron now it's kind of a stuffy smell in there. I dunked a bunch of baking soda in that all over the van. And I was like, hey, no big deal. Um, apparently, well, I forgot them, left them open. So luckily, it did not rain. It, it had, a, had like a really super light sprinkle, apparently. But there was no moisture really inside the van. So I went ahead and closed up the main windows, left the vent windows open and stuff to kind of let it still air through a little bit. And then I was so glad I caught that because it rained like hell here today. So I would have definitely had a soaking wet van. So went ahead, and I was happy I found that. Um, it's kind of lucky um, chunk in life. Every once in a while, I kind of feel like sometimes you have better things come to you when you're living your life right i'll find you know fall, i'll find money on the trail or i'll you know you know have something happen to me in life that just you know is superbly um coincidental that really had nothing to do with hang but I, when i have something really good happen to me i always kind of feel like i'm living right and when i start having like catching all the red lights or having blowouts or having cars break down and stuff i feel like i'm you know, living wrong, and it's kind of like the karma is catching up to me kind of thing, and I've been having a lot of that lately, and today was not one of those days. Today, everything seemed to shine on me. I got a call, said my car and my truck both were done in the shop, and it was, I'd say, about a third the cost I thought it was going to be, so I was super stoked about that um, on both vehicles. Well, actually, the the whole thing total was less than I thought the car was going to cost, and I thought the truck was going to cost double that on top of what it cost, so I was super, super stoked um, for what it was. I was. Like I said, it was just Oh, I couldn't be more happy. Went down, um, rode the bike down. It was getting near dark. Rode the bike down, talked to the shop owner and stuff, the mechanic there, chatted with him for a while and stuff, threw my bike in the back of the truck and drove it home. My plan was to take the new van back down, let him work on it, which I'm guessing it's going to be five, $700 repair is what I'm estimating it to be. Um, he said to give him a week at least um, before he'd want to work on the van. He had some other projects that were ahead of me. He had to get caught up on, and I said, it's fine. So there's no reason leaving it down there. Give me a chance to kind of do a little tinkering with it here and there and getting it cleaned up and stuff. I need to do an oil change on it. And a handful of other you know situations like that too so went ahead um jumped in the truck headed on home i'm gonna figure today at some point i'll run down there grab the car and then bring it back home too so that was a fun thing there just like i said i spent um well over an hour chatting on the phone with a businessman that had found me through youtube and wanted to pick my brain about a new product that he's building and that 
and it's a guy that I'll, I've never met, never will meet, most likely. Um, probably have nothing to ever. There's no way he could ever repay me in the process if I spent over an hour. And just I'm, I have the ability to problem solve almost instantaneously. I mean, it's not always going to be the best answer, but I guarantee it's going to help if you work on some of these kind of things. And I gave him about 30 different things, and he openly agreed that there was 10 massive ones he was guaranteed he was going to change into it, and there was probably 10 more he was going to run past the other partners. And there 10, he goes, probably isn't the aim we're going for. And I said, it's fine. I don't know what aim you're going for in the process. So we're going to see. He's got a um, pitch to tom actually tomorrow. It's a fast pitch. There's a contest he's entering. And I kind of help redirect his entire sales pitch of where he's going with it to kind of tell more of why he started it and that. And he's super stoked. He went five grand if he wins the contest. So we'll see what happens. Um, he's supposed to let me know how it goes and that. And it's just one of those things that, I just, I don't know, it felt really good to be able to do something for somebody and make a difference in their life when there's no way a dude could ever hang back. I'm, like I said, never going to meet him. It's just, it makes me feel good when that happens. So that right there is I was interesting thing in the evening. Um, watched a little Netflix and then just crashed out like a zombie. So that's all I got for now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.